<laughs> Who's a little like water and oil? Brandy and Mr. Whisker. What's in the kettle and ready to boil? Brandy and Mr. Whisker. <laughs> Whoops, Billy Rabbit, boy, pampered Wooch. Fell from the plane with no parachute. Got stuck in the jungle, putting down roots. Brandy and Mr. Whisker. Side by side, different as day or night. <laughs> but it's quite a ride, sharing our life with the trees. <laughs> nose to nose, they can be friends or foes. Avoid being eaten alive. Brandy and Mr. Whisker. Little cutie with your nose in the air. Your overly dramatic, aromatic hair. They're barely survived. The fate that they share. They just function of brother and sister. Ay, 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 ay. Brandy and Mr. Whisker. <laughs> in this jungle who really appreciates the important things. You know, like status and popularity. I'm sorry, who are you again? Brandy Harrington of the Florida Harringtons. Remember Lola introduced us this morning. Oh, right. Weren't you hanging around that really annoying bunny? Me? Oh no, I hardly know that guy. Brandy, hey, Brandy. What shaking, bacon? <laughs> hardly know him, huh? Oh. Did she pretend she didn't know me? Ha! I cannot tell you how often that happens. <laughs> but don't let it fool you. We're best friends, roommates, compadres, amigos, peas in a pod. So you want to hang out or something? We could go to the clearing. <sighs> Listen, Brittany. Brandy, whatever. Everybody knows that everyone who's anyone hangs out at the watering hole. Yeah? And where's that? <sighs> if you have to ask, I've got to find this watering hole. All right, an outing. Count me in. OK, this is it. The watering hole, the place to be seen, the social nexus of the Amazon. Whiskers, please don't embarrass me. You got it, Freddy. Hey, 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 my fellow Amazoniacs. My name is Whiskers, and I am the bunny with the funny, the hair with the flare. The rabbit who is habit farming. <laughs> now let's get this party started. V8, ah, listen with me. Huh, you're the fucking leprechaun. Ah, ah, ah. Churn the butter, baby. Mm. Odd. Usually by the time I'm churning butter, it's a party. <sighs> well, at least I'd like it. That is some mighty fancy feet stomping. Why don't you go way over there, and I'll go way over there, and maybe I'll see you when you've learned to stop ruining my life, okay? You got it, Brandy. So again, you ready to partake in a little agua? Well, that sounds uh, downright refreshing. That's my boy. I'll just take this seat here and start enjoying a little cool, refreshing H2O. Well, now, uh, Mr. Whiskers, you might want to think twice about that one. And why, pray tell, is that my fine friend? Who's sitting on my rock? <laughs> I'll rip the flesh from his bones! Oh boy, I wonder who he's talking about. Huh, feel sorry for that shot. Ah! Start splaining, rabbit! <laughs> Enough of your fancy talk! Actually, the humidity helps control the curls. I have... I have... Well, you see, Whiskers, that is Lester's rock. Good timing, dude. <laughs> Ugh, so embarrassing. I may never go out again. Me neither. Terror has a new name. Luster. Whiskers, grow a backbone. You can't let this guy push you around. Why not? Because it doesn't look good. And when you don't look good, I don't look good. And as we've covered numerous times, I must look good. Remember, appearances are everything. Right. Appliances are everything. <sighs> so you're saying I must fight this Lester brute? But Brandy, he's got muscles in places where all I have is my charming and persistent baby fat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Violence is never the answer, Whiskers. Really? Not unless the question is how do you flatten a bunny. There are other ways of handling a bully. Maybe you're right, Brandy. Maybe Lester and I just got off on the wrong foot. Maybe if he got to know me, why... We could be friends. <laughs> this is gonna be.
be so great. <laughs> yeah, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. And when I say neighbor, I mean in the sense that we are all members of the larger jungle community. Ah, we are brethren, you and I. You scratch my back, and I'll strike you. Mmm, back scratching. <laughs> Whiskers, this doesn't look good. I know, I know. Hold on. Better? Look, forget friendship. Maybe you should just avoid Lester. Sounds cowardly. It is. I'm in. <gasps> Quick, hide! Hey, Lester! Dog! Okay, avoidance is a bust. Oh, would have worked if my head had avoided his fist. I don't know what to do, Brandy. You'll think of something, Whiskers. Think of some. Oh, that's it. Yes, I'll think of something. I will teach Lester a lesson in humility, classic style. Brains over bronze. Oh, Lester. Can I interest you in a game of chess? Chess? Yes, chess! A titanic battle of intellect and cunning. Okay. Now, the question is, do I utilize the Nadjdorf Sicilian defense or the Nimzovich offense? <laughs> you lose! <laughs> How about a game of checkers? Fine, I'll king you! Well, that was a bit obvious. <laughs> Whiskers, don't take this personally. But you're an embarrassment, a disgrace, and an eyesore. But I shouldn't take this personally. Look, I think it's best we're just not seen together. Bad for appearances, namely mine. Right? Right! Ciao! Okay. See ya! I mean, if no one else is around. Well, that is sadder than a shaved monkey without no tail. Oh, you don't know the half of it, eh? Brandy and me go together like peanut butter and jelly. Bacon and eggs. Donkeys and crab bones. I can't let Lester break us up. And if that means fighting him, well, I say, bring the pain! You just went from king of the jungle to king of the bungle. <laughs> Good day, Miss Brandy. Sure is a pretty one, is it not? Hey, Ed. Where's Whiskers? He's not here, is he? Nope, Mr. Whiskers ain't here. He's gone off to fight that Lester fella. Right. Well, if you see him, tell him I'm throwing a mixer tonight and he shouldn't fight Lester. Two-letter word for it. I T. Lester, I'm calling you out. <laughs> Whiskers doing this. Well, now, Miss Brandy, there is an interesting thing. The way Mr. Whiskers figures it. If he beats Lester, I won't be ashamed to be seen with him, right? Yep, that sums it up. Lester's gonna pound Whiskers into a puddle, and it's all my fault. Where are they, Ed? Now, there's a very funny story that I enjoy, and I hope you will too. Always gets a great response whenever I let loose with it. Um, sit back. <sighs> you trying to be funny? Funny? <laughs> <laughs> that rhymes! <laughs> no, my good man, I am most serious. Your bullying ways must cease, and if that means I must give you a sound thrashing, then so be it. And so I say to my cousin Matilda, Maddie, I says, I don't believe I have ever had turtle prepared in such a way. That is delicious. Forget the story. Where is Whiskers? All right, he's, uh, he's at the watering hole. Hey, my 
Faker! Hey! Don't you touch him! Whiskers? Whiskers? Speak to me! What? What happened? Lester ran off. Yeah, I thought so. One swing of my mighty fist was more than enough for the likes of him. I am one bodacious and brutal bummer. <laughs> Whiskers, that was very brave of you. Brave and stupid. Really? You think? Oh, yeah. More stupid than brave. But still very brave. Well, I had to do it, Brandy. So, you know, you'd be seen with me. Oh, Whiskers. I'll be happy to be seen with you anywhere, anytime. Oh, thanks, Brandy. But really, girl, can't you clean yourself up first? I mean, you look like something the cat dragged in. I mean, appearances are everything, right? Would you please clean up your junk? Why? Because tonight I'm having a slumber party. A lumber party? Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. <laughs> Not lumber party, slumber party. You know, as in sleepover? Seriously, Whiskers, you should clean out your ears while you're at it. I don't like to brag, but... Yes, you do. You're right, I do. I throw the absolute best parties. A party? Ow! Let me help with the party. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please! Oh, I can do the decorations. I call this Polynesian paradise. I call this Eskimo escape. I call this Hawaiian holiday. <laughs> well, you know, admittedly, it's similar to Polynesian paradise, but I'm working with limited resources. Whiskers, I don't want you to decorate my party. Okay, well, I could... Provide the entertainment! I want you to disappear. Oh, magic! Great idea! Oh, I can pull a rabbit out of a hat. No. Better! I can pull a hat out of a rabbit! That may not be suitable for small children. Uh, I'd like you to not be here when the party starts. Then when you give the signal, I get that of the cake! You're not invited. You know... Call it a six sense, but I'm picking up signals. You don't want me around. Look, Whiskers, nothing personal. Okay, maybe a little. But it's a pajama party, which means girls only. Fine. If that's the way you want it, Brandy, there are plenty of people who would love to have the lovable me as their loving house guest for a lovely evening. Ah! Ah! Exactly the outpouring of hospitality I was expecting. I wonder, could it be my breath? <sighs> oh, that's a definite maybe. Ah, oh, well, hello there, Mr. Whiskers. Why the long uh, face? Oh, Ed, Brandy is having a girls only party and I'm not invited. Ooh, that is an unfortunate turn of events when we are divided along gender lines. You're a genius! Oh, I am? Yes! Because correct me if I am wrong, you are suggesting that we have our own party, right? A male counterpart, if you will. To the girls' party! Well, strictly between you and me, I don't uh, recall. Oh, it's gonna be great, Ed! Who can resist two hip party animals like us? Ah! Ah! Run! 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 Hmm, maybe it's your breath too. What does your smell like? <sighs> yeah, that might be it. And I would like to note for the record that we also have some pungent body odor. No 
No worries, Ed. Fortunately, I always keep one of Brandy's teen girl magazines with me. I just read it for the articles. Perhaps this tome of fashion tips and dating advice can illuminate us in our hour of need. How to power flirt and pass. Yarn is your friend? I don't think so. Top ten gassy foods. I'll say that for you. <laughs> Wait! 101 party pranks! <laughs> oh, that's it, Edward, my friend! Let the games begin! Come on, Lola, show us. No. I'm sure you look adorable. Please. Oh, I feel ridiculous. Girl, you look ridiculous, too. Yep. And you all thought we'd never agree. Why couldn't it be a sock party? Because it's a pajama party. So, like, when are the cool girls coming? We're here. You're kidding, right? Yeah, well, just you wait to see what I plan next. Makeovers and... Well, who could that be? Maybe the boring police. <sighs> what do you two want? Ding, Ding dong, dong bitch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, two problems with your prank. One, there's no doorbell, so it's not a ding-dong. Oh. And two, you're supposed to run away before I open the door. That's the ditch part. Mm. Anywho, back to the makeovers. Were those boys? Only in the most technical sense. Let's invite them over. I don't think that's a good idea. I agree with Brandy. We don't want those boys here. Yes, we do. No, we don't. What we want is to go and prank them back. No, boys. This is a girl's night, and it's going to stay a girl's night. So, who's ready to play charades? Well, if no one else wants to go, I'll go first. Three words. This party stinks. Shh. I think I heard the noise. Ugh, ignore them. It's a movie. Flower delivery. Oh, let's see. Get real. There's no flowers. It's a trick. Wow, those are pretty. is gonna cost them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was so awesome. They didn't see that coming. <laughs> Brandy! Hey, Brandy! You gotta come out here. There's a guy in a helicopter who says your owner sent him to rescue you. Yeah, right, Whiskers. You could just tell that guy to go home because I'm not going anywhere. All righty. She said... And now to come up with a really good prank. Okay, we lure the boys to this area here, where we've hidden the quicksand under leaves. Then we... What was that? It sounded like a puma. No, it was more like a jaguar. Excuse me, but I think I know a puma when I hear one. Girls, girls, there's no big dangerous cat out there. It's obviously just Whiskers and Ed trying to scare us. It worked. Change of plan. Let's play along with it, acting all afraid and stuff. Then we sneak into the jungle and get the jump on them. <gasps> oh, no! Whatever shall we do? Oh, there is a big, dangerous puma. Jaguar. Puma! Trying to get at us. They're right there. We'll spook them on three. Spook. Oh. Whiskers and Ed, duh. Okay, ready? One. Two. 
Wait a minute. If you two are here, then... Oh, wouldn't you know it? Somebody beat us to the Puma prank. Whiskers! Ed! Help us! Wait a minute, Ed. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know. I'm thinking that moon sure does look pretty tonight. Oh, yeah, it sure does. Hmm. But, more importantly, if Brandy gets eaten, the game is over and we can't play anymore! How to attract the male of your dreams. Step one, make sure he knows you exist. <laughs> Well, hello, handsome. Okay, Ed. Tell him mayonnaise can add a shiny luster to his hair. Oh, uh, huh? Ah, I'm wrong page. Uh, oh, oh, we compliment him. Oh, what's a cat like you doing in a jungle like this? How about showing someone new around these parts? <laughs> I would love to. You know, that was actually fun. That was really nice, what Whiskers did. I'm not sure I would have done the same thing for him. Brandy would have done the same thing for me. Uh-oh, breaking up with guys is next month's issue. Oh, boy. 